this webinar to be pretty much demonstrated for our students and some few probably are part of already as a professional in the industry. So once again, this is Mr. Hansel and today we'll be going to have a rapid application development using the Oracle Apex 21.2 and it's been pretty much almost 10 years I've been working developing on, on under this platform and and this uh, rapid application development is is a very useful and very intuitive uh, platform uh, while you're developing a web, web applications okay so this will going to be our agenda for for an hour of a webinar and our objective will be developing a work working prototype application based on the database in the Oracle Apex or uh, application express. So we'll have uh, a run through Oracle Apex overview and pretty much they have a new features under the hood of 21.2. But otherwise, if you're working on on the previous version, pretty much it's the same features that you might be seeing and how of course to start out with an Oracle Apex and Eventually later, we will be having um, familiarization of the IDE, particularly on the 21.2 of the integrated development environment. And of course, the most uh, awaited part here is, is the demonstration. So um, if uh, time will permit, hopefully we will go to complete all of this demonstration that we're going to be working a real prototype application, running prototype application on Oracle Apex platform, starting on creating a schema using and coming from MMS Excel file or creating your first application out of this MS Excel file, creating forms and reports, customizing these pages based on the region pages, items, breadcrumbs, navigation, and so like LOVs as well. And of course the validations and some few of the dynamic action within the forms will be also be applied. And the master detail form that works uh, seemingly with, with the Oracle Apex, the developer platforms, and of course, this very popular interactive reports that will be working upon during your development uh, based on the records or some reports that you are also generating within your corporates. Creating charts, analysis, uh, views that uh, might come from um, stored queries or some complex SQL statements, working with an XML uh, generated uh, FO designers that you might also be um, working with some more customized uh, development of reports and working with the authentication and security will going to be touch, maybe slightly touch here when it comes to our application development and how to deploy this one definitely the most important testing and development uh, deployment will be also be covered during the demonstration and if still time permits hopefully we'll see some other part of uh, administration and monitoring services at backup all right so this time let's have a walkthrough of an oracle apex application okay so what is oracle apex it is basically a low code development platform that enables you to build scalable and secure enterprise apps with world class features that can be deployed anywhere. This is straightforward. It's a low code development, but we are not underestimating that that literally we're not doing some codes. So which means basically you can enable even a, a less than a minute by developing a rapid application uh, platform out of that low code development platforms, but it's still works as a scalable, secured enterprise that later on you will come to, to see the enterprise resource planning uh, platforms and with the world class features. Basically, this Oracle Apex is a database centric web application development framework. So this is the, the most important part and how learning what is Oracle. Eventually, the, once that you come into it, so you will be doing a lot of developments in, in the way that this is uh, more on kind of data centric. So oh, I mean database. So we will not be developing a platform without a, a database centric web application uh, framework. 
and that will be also developed either in the desktop and the mobile web apps. And this visualization of maintained database data is very intuitively presented and basically the leverage of your SQL skills and database capability will make also advantage whenever you have a background when it comes to database. This distinguishing the characteristics of our Oracle Apex is, of course, we will be having, of course, your IDE, where in fact, this is where you're going to develop your application, but this is based on a no client software needed. All you have to do is to have your favorite browser with you. The application definition of are stored basically in the database as a metadata. So this is basically a declarative way of uh, generating that we don't need to do some codes. But however, once, once that you are also into database or especially in PLSQL, um, uh, programming, of course, it would be it would be also on the edge while you're doing the definition of a stored database as a metadata. The page generation is much more efficient when it comes to Oracle Apex because it's a kind of one way, one request, and one response, and that pretty much it's uh, across your HTTP or local premises as well. So the data processing will be done under the centralized database as well. And of course, with the SSL, with the secure socket layer uh, features that it will protect your, your data also. Rapidly development, customization, and deliver is one of the most interesting part of Oracle Apex because there are many pre-built controls, especially like if you're applying a security, you don't need to waste time a lot of working on those codings when it comes to security, particularly in authentication as well, database or interactions, validation, session management, and so more. So these are all pre-built, pre-built controls that you may apply during your development. But basically, of course, you can still customize it based on your needs, based on your likings, based on the requirements of your establishment. We can develop, we customize, we deliver. The user interface of any devices basically works on different platforms. Platforms, hardwares, and nowadays we have so many uh, uh, technology coming out, especially that our devices also upgraded, right? So hardware is also increasingly demanding. The modern intuitive way of accessing the Oracle Apex is will seemingly work within your UI, even though you're running with a seven inch of uh, smartphone devices or a tab or a typical desktop. So it's quite a responsive application. It's a, and it's also fully customizable. And of course, this is one of the main features as well that Oracle's uh, Apex is saying that these are 100% low cost, fully supported features. Even you are as a developer, you can make a full straight away running prototype, running application, deploy it within your organization and any number of apps or even developers and end users can use this. Otherwise, of course, we do have also some licensed version of Oracle that will support the team, just like the version of the 11Gs are, are released to 12Cs, 18Cs, and 9Cs that requires some license within the premises, right? It's easy to install basically, and if you will going to apply it on the premises, and later I will show you the website that you can also download this Oracle Apex and in, installed it within your local premises. So we can see later the, the URL mentioned here, the HTTPS or uh, apex.oracle.com slash OTN. And we can also acquire a free workspace environment also within the Oracle Apex. All you have to do is to jump into this URL, which is the apex.oracle.com slash PLS slash Apex, and you should have at least a valid email address that will consider to be uh, uh, a valid workspace will be given to you, right? So a single database instances and multiple focus spaces. It's a kind of a dynamic once that you have been working on some, some different platforms. More, moreover, you might be thinking that it might have only limited uh, instances pretty much, but at least in Oracle Apex, they have also different workspaces with working with a full defined application definition with a different schema that works in different workspaces. Suppose department number two will be having a, a separate workspaces. Department number one have also different workspace. Department number three have a different workspace, but at the end, they are all shared together within the Oracle Apex 
database. So it's a many-to-many -to -many relationship between these workspaces and schemas. So as an instance administrator, you can manage all of these different environments. You can develop, if you have a bunch of developers under these different workspaces, they can also be collaborated. They can develop their own application separately, and there will be like a software engineer or software uh, project engineer who are going to be taking care of that workspace. Uh, but the, at the end, they are all sharing with a, with a single schema or a single database instance. Development and deployment options, of course, uh, uh, this is the most important part. Suppose uh, as a student uh, or as a newbie that you wanted to jump into a regular Apex, how can I could start with? Where should I uh, start with uh, Oracle development? Basically, there are so many options actually. There are development deployment options. You can do it in local premises. I mean, local install it with your standalone computer as long as that you have downloaded this uh, uh, Oracle Apex version or new versions within the or Oracle website or, or the OTN website. And then you can simply upgrade this Oracle Apex based on the required version that you're running on on that latest uh, uh, installer. You can work completely disconnected, basically, even you're not connected to the Internet. The other uh, the other option is you can work within the premises. Working in the premises is like in a small business organization. You, you might be having your own server. You, you might be having your own uh, centralized server within the local premises. And this will run as uh, a local intranet, uh, lo local, uh, local area network that typically run within an, a typical department. So generally, all the, all the computers that might be connected on the local premises will be uh, opening that particular uh, server Oracle Apex that you have installed. So it's not separately though, of course, but it's pretty much it's also centralized, but it runs on local premises. And the other option is you can go with the cloud. Deployment internet application will be there and definitely it will leverage the past application development and the user acceptance and trainings will be there. And it would be much more wider because sometimes some clouds might be needing some license or pretty much maybe only on the free workspaces that will provide for you by the, the OTN would be enough for us for developing your first uh, Oracle Apex platforms, right? So the Oracle Apex community is not new, especially for those people who haven't even heard about Oracle Apex. Oracle Apex community has been there for quite a long time. So it's almost now pretty much maybe it's almost over 500,000 developers worldwide at the moment. And the, we have so many active bloggers, even uh, developers and community that will consult this different uh, success of each story success behind the development of Oracle Apex. So we have this uh, Oracle Apex community. So we are not alone. Uh, we have so many uh, vast variety of uh, ever growing community that all of this profession will be within that particular uh, platform. So around the world, now we're speaking about around the world, All right? Of course, that is Apex that world, and you might be thinking there are 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 some developed Oracle Apex platforms that might have been there already for quite some time, and so many community had been authored to cite those providing those different uh, uh, services offered. Basically, like an open source program, they can dump it there in the GitHub. You can download their plugins. They, you can also get some feeds. You can get also some jobs, conferences, and meetups, and so on and so forth. It's a huge community. Just head on to Apex that world. You can see what I mean. All right. Of course, are there any platform? Are there any website that you're pretty much maybe known to you that you might have been already been uh, uh, visited? Yes, of course, we have so many. I can showcase you to have a large diversity of different types of publication that have been developed under the hood of Oracle Apex. And since it was been launched uh, this October 2 to 2016, this build with apex.com is just showcasing all the websites or web applications, any platforms, or any application that they have been developed under the hood of Oracle Apex. So we have so many sites that have been already been published. And moreover, of course, you can have also your own personal uh, web application that also develop under Oracle Apex, right? You can be added up as a part of this community, build with apex.com, right? 
that makes sense. Uh, Oracle Apex, they said it is uh, it's a fast or a rapid application uh, uh, development. You know why? Because they say you can transform your spreadsheet to a web application in a minute. Well, what do you mean to say? It's in a minute, meaning it's almost about, about 60 seconds. Out of that 60 seconds, you have already your finished product of an Oracle Apex platform developed out of that spreadsheet alone. Why? Because we have a facility in Oracle Apex that suppose your company or your small organization is still working on with an Excel sheets or spreadsheets that all the records have been entered through that particular application. You don't need to redo those once again. You have already those files. Out of those files, we can drag and drop only those Excel files within the Oracle Apex environment. And eventually later, that will become now your schema or technically speaking, that will be now your one of the objects that's been created as a part of a schema, which is your table. You might be having also another object which is created within the table, those indexes, the sequences, the triggers, and many more, right? You can straight away run an application based on that particular spreadsheet that you have only imported within the Oracle Apex platform. And there you go. In no time, your application is, will be running in a minute, okay? Okay, we also have a new business productivity that will offer that will offer within Oracle Apex. We can build an application in a day or weeks or months or even year. It depends on how big is it, right? And it's quite a powerful kind of way of um, uh, assisting us through a wizard. Wizard that's like a step-by-step -step process and fully you are now creating a full full featured application within those wizard but if you are an advanced developer of course you can also do much more better than that because you can customize this based on your tailored uh, tailored uh, businesses requirements of course it's a kind of rapid iterate of production really in a snap if your boss wanted want, wanted to shoot over this url and share through all your colleagues and just for a very short time of preparation, they required you to develop a software. But only what you have is what? An Excel sheet for uh, files though. And you can do this one and you can really, even some non-professional can do so as well, right? We will coin out this low code, right? This is kind of solution that most of this uh, application will be a part of a modernized uh, kind of Oracle forms. If you might have been heard about the developer suite of Oracle, and that's a bit tedious because they have a different separate third party that might run each one of those services. If developing a report, you should be on the, that particular platform. Developing a form, you should be there in the different uh, developing form platform. But this time, this is a modernizing Oracle Oracle form. They have been, they have been, they have been integrated within 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 the IDE of Oracle Apex. So which means this is a base basically it's a natural evolution of forms, right? If uh, you've been there to those those kinds of te technology 10 years back, suppose, and it really when you see Oracle Apex, you can drastically see the difference that every single uh, uh, services that you have doing separate application, third party software, or put them in one platform, right? So basically it's also an enterprise resource planning type of uh, eBay uh, e-commerce application development basically. And it's it's a kind of uh, an extended ERPs that most of uh, the developers that are working on SAP pretty much maybe you might have heard about SAP. In Oracle Apex that is possible. You can just like I said, no? We have a single instance, but we have a multiple workspaces. You can develop several workspace, I mean application within certain workspace schema, and then eventually they are all centralized into one major uh, major uh, schema that, that makes sense. So which means it's like an ERP, right? You're developing a different application from different department, but the different department also have a different application running through, but all your data is coming on a centralized database. It's an extended way of uh, um, comparing to an ERPs, and this is a kind of enterprise software. You know that the ERPs are very expensive, and most of the professionals, consultants are being paid 
too much for this uh, type of uh, uh, special skills or professionals. Right. But what if you've been in Oracle Apex? You can also design, implement, deploy a typical ERP application that used to be in in more cost uh, licensed uh, products such as SAP, right? So we can also building a large enterprise scale. This is that's why we have speak about the ERPs, right? Now let's go with the product components. Now basically uh, we want to have a sneak preview what what this IDE or what this how this uh, it looks like and how can I work within my my development uh, on Oracle Apex. The integrated development environment of uh, on Oracle Apex. Later we will come to see this one in actual, but for now let's let's have a run through with the different IDEs and services offered by Oracle Apex. And once again, if you remember, you just only have to have an updated uh, browser that comes with, uh, of course, probably about the Google Chrome or Safari or a Firefox or a Navigator, any 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 browser that, that enables all those plugins that will suit you. And I think you might be up and running and working with your Oracle Apex platform. And this is the one of example of the home page of a comprehensive development uh, and integrated development environment of Oracle Apex. It's a web application development that you can see also uh, also some SQL database development later. And in the application building or building an app, literally building an application, it has also an integrated development environment for you to, to customize page level designs, uh, uh, components, within this particular ap application builder. And it's a kind of a graphical page designer that more features tight within your SQL commands or PLSQL integrations. And you can see also within the application builder, literally this is like your, your where you, you work with your HTML components. Uh, you have the headers, the HTML bodies, and of course much more better than that because you can see all the structure in, in terms of hierarchy the components of your page, literally only, we're speaking about only one page here. Huh? This is the page designer. And customizing your page design is based on upon on how you display them. What you see is what you get within your web application development. Uh, um, point out to that uh, WYCD. Now, the application builder code editor is also there that it's available for maintaining for your SQL or PLSQL, even running with a JavaScript, HTML and CSS has has this kind of capability of code editor. See, imagine, yes, they coining out about low code. Well, teacher, why are you showing us so many codes, uh, editors, pretty much do we have to learn all of these things? Pretty much, of course, you don't need at the moment, but if you are onto that programming, especially if you are, are having a good uh, background when it comes to SQL or PLSQL, particularly or Java or HTML, CSS, that would be a good edge for you. Showing up this application builder is a code editor that comes with the syntax highlighting as well. It comes with some uh, auto completions and code validation as well if there are some error. And of course, this will be used within the page designer, which I have shown you. This is the page designer and we can later float up this kind of uh, code editor depends on the region that you're working upon that. So out of that one, the application builder also comes with a very beautiful intuitive uh, design of a universal teams. These teams and team roller have been there since I think Oracle Apex version 20.1 or even 90C, I believe so. Uh, that is almost two couple of years back. This team provides you a variety of different colors and schemes. Yeah. Imagine now if you're onto this uh, designing of the UI, hardly it's, 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 you need to have a good knowledge in uh, programming when it comes to working with the CSS. So, but Oracle Apex will provide you a definition of pre-built CSS file as well, that this CSS scripts will be just embedded within that particular application. And all you have to do is to run this uh, team roller and all you have to select and do some customization as well. So addition to that one, actually we can easily generate using this built-in team rollers utility. And so much for that, maybe if you're an advanced pro, uh, or Oracle Apex uh, user, you might be using also some third-party plugins that might add it to your application UI. Inter UI. 
Right. This is one of my most uh, visited, not the visited though. I might doing a lot of, I spending more time in developing. Why? The SQL or the SQL workshop is basically, it's a browser based maintenance of your database object. And basically, before I implement that particular SQL actually, I usually use this, uh, this IDE because I just wanted to run first that SQL, which I really wanted to see first if the output or the result is what I'm expecting. Because this is where you see all the objects of your schema, literally the tables, the views, the, the sequences, the indexes, the triggers, and so many more. But if you know, of course, about I'm telling about uh, regarding the schema, you know what I'm, I'm pertaining with. This is uh, the actual database itself, where the table and the records stored within that table. And of course, your fields there, the constraints there, the data types there, the column names are there, and so many more. Because this is where the design meets the application developer that really needs the specific uh, kind of hosted environment for them. They feel that they don't want to jump to developing the application without seeing first the result by running a typical data centric SQL commands. Right. This is very, very useful because this SQL workshop is it's it's uh, very handful for the Oracle Apex developer. Right. This is pretty much the same with that one, a SQL workshop, a quick SQL. You can see also even how your table had been created. The Oracle Apex will generate the the, the 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 syntax or the, the the what they call this one the code itself how this table had been generated even it was been generated used through using a, a wizard you can still see the actual create table syntaxes and all those name of fields and if there are some data type and constraint and so it will be shown there right team development right just like I said that uh, we are basically like a team developers here within Oracle Apex, and this is what I'm 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 uh, uh, telling to my students. Basically, if we, we have this ITDB 101 uh, 401 um, on the BTEC level. Uh, considering myself as I am your uh, senior project uh, developer, and you are my my some you are my associates, and you are, all of you will be the developer. And since we are working in a in a in a team and developing as a project. Uh, as a, as a project designer as, as well, we can see the development teams will be also reimagine the flexibility how these people will work remotely even not even not, they're not sitting together on, on the same office now. So you're, you're also imagining that you are working with a team, complex applications. Each one of you has your own responsibility to work with. And eventually the project manager or the project software engineer will go into tailored every single thing that you have developed. It's pretty awesome actually, because this is the real scenario in most of the companies that they are having this uh, uh, services offered, that they are developing software within the tailored, I mean, based on the requirement needed by a certain organizations. Right, app galleries there is just an add on, just like you're going to your favorite app on the app store, you can download it. You can use it. It's most kind of productive way or some applications will be there. And the most recent updates, not, not this 22.1, the 22.2, I mean the 22.1, recently they have linked now the application that we have developed under GitHub. So it's kind of robust that uh, it's kind of like they wanted to, to share like an open source uh, Oracle Apex application and every single people who are into it, they can download it, they redevelop it and share it once again. It's a kind of this good practices, uh, particularly this GitHub is becoming more popular nowadays. So this templates customization has been there quite some time. Even I started way back 2013 when I first jumped into Oracle Apex uh, 3.5 version. No? It was there actually, it's already there. And it's it's also nice to download and, and install it within your Oracle workspace um, environment just to see how it looks no? and how it runs. And you can also copy some codes as you wish there. Right, these are the features of creating an application. Of course, it's a kind of modern way of doing it. And there are some wizard and you have to write the name of the application. Of course, there are some pages that needs to be required to be added within your 
within your web application and if you want to add some other advanced features like about page configuration access control feedback uh, activity reporting and team style selection but of course just like i said if you are an advanced uh, um, user you really onto the development you will do your own page and you will customize page level design based on the required development that the a certain company needed or a certain small business needed right so these are the different pages we saw that you might be seeing. Uh, of course, we have a blank page, we have a report page, forms, master details, plugins, charts, dashboards, uh, calendar, tree, wizard, data loading, and legacy pages. Legacy pages, are, these are the old legacy, discontinued, uh, some of the features of those objects page level. But we can still run on to your Oracle latest versions. All right. And of course, the interactive page is also there. Just if you have uh, uh, selected the report there, it looks like this one, the powerful reporting capability that the end users are basically blow your mind, actually. Why? If, you're, you, if you know how to use my, uh, uh, Excel or Microsoft Excel application, I think that you don't have any problem of working with this interactive report. I'm, I'm only saying on the develop, not in the developer side, huh? as a end users. Why? Because this interactive report really gives you more actions that you might be, you might be all, you can do your own customization based on the report that you're pulling out from the database itself. You can customize it, you can save your own report, you can filter it, you can highlight it, you can even aggregate it, and so many more. Even you can even show some graph within this one. I'm speaking on the behalf of the end user. Right. Imagine, no? It's it it's like a built-in uh, Microsoft Office already because it seems that it this interactive report is just is a grid type with a column and rows that's pretty much the same with an or with the typical Microsoft spreadsheet application. And this is one of the very nice presentation of the faceted search. Once that we will select this one later for a quick demonstration and we will have come out with this uh, automatic faceted search that is very powerful. We can filter the way uh, all the records have been pulling out within your table and it makes much more easier to use to find the data that they want. So I think this is just like a recent um, added uh, this uh, faceted search. A uh, couple of uh, version was been released and before it wasn't there. Right, and this is also one of the uh, very interesting part of Oracle Apex. You might be thinking, is it Oracle Apex can develop such as Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or so? Yes, of course. This is like now, this cards is pretty much like uh, what you're scrolling now on your favorite social media, right? Basically, all of these that we're seeing on our uh, uh, social media platforms are all database centric database centric the pictures that it's uh, load there is also it's stored dynamically within the that schema or the table the names there the description there even the likes there even the comments there and so many more all of these are been added on oracle apex just recently that now we can create this card as a native region that type control this layout it's very awesome that you come to see that uh, every course project students can really develop a very intuitive and responsive application based on on the design that you're developing right interactive grade will be there models will be there as well and this is a kind of different charts and calendars is recently uh, was added not recently though probably about two years back and different ways how to show them in your page level calendar as an object but we are pulling all the information based upon those data type that had been highlighted as as a as a dates, right? We can actually technically aggregate a, a calendar. I mean the dates, right? This is what we have learned of for our SQL. List based navigation will be there, and dynamic action is uh, the most difficult part if you're doing this kind of uh, features, including the validation. You should be very good in Java. <laughs> But when it comes to Oracle Apex, really it's more likely than declarative definitions because the, each client will be interactively 
working without using a Java or Ajax. Now imagine Ajax is asynchronous Java type of extension that runs under the hood of a Java or is running with the Java scripting. So it's very tedious for those platforms. But when it comes to Oracle Apex, seemingly it's easy. REST enabled, I will skip this one. This is for advanced uh, and plugins, of course. And uh, if you are adding also some features like for a Google Google Earth or Google Map and so, right? There's so many ways. Let's now jump into our demonstration. And before before doing that, so of course, uh, uh, let me have show you first, basically our, one second, um, of course, Right, this is the website of oracleapex.com. If you want to acquire your free workspaces, you can start getting, jump here by get uh, uh, started for free and you can sign in and then you can get the free workspaces and by just requesting, you can see it here, request for a free workspace. All you have to do if you have your own valid email, that's it. And there will be some small uh, uh, forms or questions will be given, uh, will be asked to you. And in no time, within a minute or two, they will give you your free space, workspace. And once that you have it, check it in your email. And uh, you have to, of course, to verify and 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 open up that uh, free workspace had been given to you. And this would be now the Oracle Apex dot uh, Apex dot Oracle dot com slash PLS. Uh, slash apex uh, page for the name of the workspace. Though the workspace basically are unique, though they will, they will say that this workspace name had been already taken, so you can write any workspace as you wish. But of course, your credential will be based on the email that you have added. So suppose I will go into log into my personal workspace and my personal my email which I have used and log in. Voila, I'm now inside the Oracle Apex. Okay, let's let's make a very quick application just for hopefully if we could complete within 10 minutes or so a, running, a full running prototype that we have developed. But beforehand, I will just show you this one. I have here an Excel sheets Right, coming from from this, uh, let, how can I view this one? One second. Right, I have this one. This, this one. This, this is a random, unnormalized, supposed an unnormalized uh, file, and it is uh, mentioning the name of the employee. There are some different positions, date hired, the salaries mentioned there, their departments are there, location maybe the location of this this person or so I don't know, and they and their email. We wanted to make a simple application out of this, right? Even 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 it's not yet even normalized. We we do some slightly normalization when we dump this Excel sheet within Oracle Apex. So what will I do is I will highlight, or actually I can just uh, in, uh, click and drag this file. But uh, for now, I, I I feel to do copy and pasting, and we will first work on the schema on Oracle Apex. And for that schema, so I need to go to the utilities and go to the data work workshop. So where I'm, I can now load the data, which is either it was a CSV, XML, even XLSX and JSON data. All I have to do is to copy paste over here or either the way you can click drag the file, which I have shown you uh, earlier. But what I did is I just copy paste it. I will just copy paste it. Click next. I click next. All right. Now, it's about time now to know the fact that I'm loading this data, meaning literally I'm creating new table, not an existing table. Otherwise, if you have a table already created, you, you select the existing table. Let's see. Let me create a new table for this. So this is like, um, ah, let, let me just name this table as, um, okay, sample, no, 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 no. I will just name employee then. Employee, right? But uh, I will just uh, put here H, uh, maybe Hansel, uh, just for the sake of 
why I'm doing this Hansel underscore employee because I have so many bunch of tables within my objects already. So I, we wanted to see every single object that currently we're working with. And see what I will do, I will click the column headers, first line that contains the header, and there you go. You can see that this is the same content which I have copy pasted though. And all those headers eventually later will be the name of each one of these columns, right, of your uh, table itself, right? You can preview it or otherwise you can go straight away to load the data and the table Hansel underscore employee will going to be created. And there you go. 18 rows had been imported and I have successfully created my first table. Right. If you want to view that table, you can just hit this button and you can see that I'm going now to another IDE that I have shown to you uh, uh, earlier. This is an object browser and basically now this is the meta data that of uh, out of my uh, Excel, I have already literally created my first ever table now, which is Hansel underscore employee. And you can see all the columns are names are there. And interesting part is, of course, the data are also populated within that particular table. See, you don't need to encode them one by one, right? It's already literally it's there. But the most interesting part there, there are some constraints at the moment with, with an ID as a primary key, basically, right? What we will do is, I don't want to just do it like this. Let's make a little touch of professional development. Uh, you can see that uh, each one, or let me just uh, hang on to this Excel. You can see that this department is kind of uh, um, some duplications are there. No, instead of uh, just typing the, the name, each name of the department, why not we make like a separate table that will be linked to this department column, and later this employee table will become now a department ID, and the de department name will literally connected as a reference like what we called as a relationship. How we do that when in Oracle Apex? Is it possible to, is it possible to make a relationship uh, when it comes to Oracle Apex, even though that you're not doing the constraint, you're not creating separate the table and do the constraint out of it? Of course, yes. That's why it's a rapid application express deployment, right? What will I do? I will just pull out this department and I will go to go to our table and I will go to select the create lookup table. This create lookup table will show you this facility. I will just head on to head on to a department and I will click next. Maybe I'll just do this one because we will have to jump it directly now to the development after this. Because other this other than this one, we can do also uh, positions and, and location. But for now, we'll just do this one only. I will name this one again Hansel, but it would be a department, right? Department. Just to see that there is a, a simple relationship within this uh, raw Excel that we just imported. And this is just the name of a sequence. And once that I have made this one, basically, let me, it's already created probably. And create the, the lookup table. And literally, you can see that the, the, the initial table that we have created will be now linked separately to this Hansel underscore department. And you can see that those Department names has been uniquely mentioned, right? Distinctly mentioned, list down. And what now happened to the employee department? We'll see about that. You can go straight away with the model, and the model will show you that this has a relationship with the employee. You want to see how the column makes the difference now after doing this lookup table? And this is now the Hansel, and you can see now department become now department ID and the most interesting part there, the data is automatically become numbers because they are related literally, right? So suppose we stop there. I now wanted to run and develop a very quick application out of this schema that we have created. Let me jump into the application builder. If you remember, this is also one of the IDE that most of your application develop had been uh, shown here. And if you want to create a new one, of course, just hit the bottom create and you have several options to work with. Now, I, I wanted just to create a new application because we did a separate uh, importing the file and we can do some startup app. So I'll just head on to new application. I will name this one again Hansel. Hansel application. You can name it 
any name and eventually you can still change it as you wish though like you can see now this is another ide that i have shown you recently that this is where the ide that the view of the blueprint of your application by default there will be a home what will i do literally we have only two tables the department and the employee the home is already there i will just add another another page and we will try all of these later but for now we will just make a very simple form and I will name this uh, this page as employee, employee, right? Employee, and you can even set an icon as you wish. But for now, just for demonstration, I will show you also the report so that you can see how we could populate that particular data, which is initially it's 18 rows, all right, basically. Now, the most important is we have to link now that form into the Hansel employee that we have recently created. I will link that one, link to Hansel underscore employee table, add the page. We're not yet finished. You want to see the other one? Say for example, I will add one more page, which is again, then again, it's a form and a report. I will name this one as department, right? Of course, I will go into select the department. Okay, and see, I'm just writing Hansel and it will filter down all the uh, the, the table names that I have created. Now I will take now the include report. Now we will not stop there. So see, we can we can want to see also some other features of pages as well. Just for the record, maybe we can we can select what a calendar. Let's try it. Calendar, All right? If I select a calendar, and I might uh, put here like hard date, uh, hired hired date, name of that page. And I need to select the table that comes with a column, which is a date, data type. It was under the employee, right? So I will select that one. And I just, of course, automatically the, the, the name of the table had been selected. Now I have to select the column. And what start date you want to show? The date hire. That is the name of the column within that Hansel underscore employee. Though there's a start and end. Huh? So anyhow, I'll just add that page then. Let's see some other pages that we could populate within your application. Suppose let's see and make a dashboard. So this dashboard is remember that we have a faceted type of search that we can enable uh, different searching engines pretty much maybe, or maybe I will just use a bar, right? And maybe this dashboard will go into select where in my employee table, we nothing to do with the department, no? So we'll just head on to that same table employee. And which column you want to mention probably there. Probably I just want to see their positions, right? And what are the value? Uh, maybe their salary, pretty much, we'll see. And let me just add this one as a dashboard, right? Let's add some more pages. We'll just populate our home page pretty much so that we could complete our uh, running prototype then. Say for example, I'll just select for this faceted uh, faceted search. And and I, once again, uh, search uh, search employee, I might name it. Employee. Uh, let me just select the same table as well, which is Hansel underscore uh, employee. And let's include the form anyhow, and we'll just add that page. Once again, I will just add probably about one more. Maybe the interactive report because we have already form. Okay, interactive report. Okay, now let's use the department. Okay, so that you can see the department report. The name of the department will be a typical table, and I will select the Hansel underscore table, which is the department. And I think so much for that. And other, other than that, maybe uh, master detail, we don't have it at the moment. So now, almost completely done. Uh, how many pages I added that includes the home page? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pages. I don't need these features though, right? because we just want to barely see how this application pages that we have added. All you have to do is to eat, hit this create application. And by the way, before I hit this up create application, basically we're done now. I'll just run this one to you for the first time and we're good. This application ID is uh, unique. The name of the schema based on the name of your workspace and by default there will be an authentication microsoft express account that i'm using at the moment but that would be done later maybe if you want to customize uh, authentication login credentials but that would be a bit advanced level 
if you want to have your own username and password. Right now, I will hit the create button and we're done in no time. All I have to do is to run this one for the first time, log in my uh, workspace credential, hit the run button, and we're good. See, the first time you will see at the moment is there will be a user's uh, page uh, credentials needs to be typed in. Of course, I have, uh, I, ha I need to hand, I need to type my credential. I'm sorry. Actually, you can remove this one. You would want to make a default. Uh, if you want to make a default page, which is uh, public, but for now, by default, it wasn't. Now, this would be now your application. Boom, finish. This is now your application default uh, wizard, uh, default team. Uh, each one of these shortcuts will be heading you to uh, separate pages, of course. If I click the employee, you can see the report literally, and it's quite intuitive. If I make this small screen, it will literally also responsive based on the size of your screen. If I click this one, this is the most interesting part here. If I click this one, there will be a dialogue floating form that comes with this that you can easily update them. You can see there are automatic LOBs. Why? Because we did literally make a relationship on the department. The rest, we haven't because we don't have time to work on that one. Right. We'll, we'll see some other uh, links that we have done. Okay, department is just a barely the department table. And you can add another new department or you can edit each one of the application. But first you can notice that the department ID is wasn't mentioning here, not shown, because this is a rule of the uh, security that we hide also the primary keys. But however, if you're a developer, you can still unhide that one. Let's come up to some other application that we have done. Hire date. I, only the problem is the hard date. I believe it was the hard date are mentioned last. Okay, they are all 2019. Let me just show you and update one of these uh, employee and change the hard date so that we can see the actual current date. Let me just change this date, today's date. Um, oh, no, no, right? Oh, gosh, why, why this one? Uh, because it was, okay, because, okay, it was 2000, okay, 2000. Uh, 10. This is 2010 still. One second. I don't, I don't want to because we can also customize this one though. Okay. Uh, I cannot change because I have to customize this uh, browsing though. Uh, they just let's make it as okay. Uh, let's say this one. I'll change it January 22. Apply. I just changed it. Why? Because I want to see the the hire date, suppose, and you can see that uh, that there it was mentioned there. You see one one twenty two, right? But the name of that employee, I never uh, selected the name. I should have been entered the name there, right? So that is for the calendar. You can see the dashboard. Now remember, this one is very nice to see that automatically all those series of dashboards have been shown. So you can you can fully customize this one if you what you really want to make the, the an, an analytics, of course, based upon the requirements of your organization. Let's see also the search facade. I believe, yeah, this one is a very intuitive way of filtering. Uh, say I want only to see the clerks. You can see those clerks and you can see, of course, uh, maybe uh, salary more than uh, 1,200. Okay, it will be filtered. So pretty cool, right? And later on, you can also download this one or show the graph out of this. Let's see some other more that we have added those pages. I think that would be it because this is the department report and this is like a typical interactive report. Actually, this is what I have shown you before earlier that you can download the report download the report into HTML, PDF, CSV, and you can still have the backup with you. Originally, you have imported an Excel, is still Oracle Apex will provide you an Excel output, of course, as you wish. There you go. All right, so thank you very much. This is a fast uh, demonstration of Oracle Apex. And if you really wanted to learn Oracle Apex, I believe now, Oracle Apex community now are providing so many um, trainings and some instructional materials 
uh, working on Oracle Apex. But if I were you really, if you want to development and you really want to see the outcomes already, and maybe a re small recommendation, uh, maybe review a bit of uh, the database so that you know some some other theory behind the database and you will be be a developer in no time. Eventually you are working with a complex application based on the requirement of your of your developing uh, career as, as you wish, right? And of course, this Oracle Apex has also a cert certification and certification that will also qualify you as being a Oracle Apex certified professional, just like I had four years back. I, what I did only I tried to develop and eventually I came to have this Oracle Apex, which is professional level in a sense that was that was old version before, but it seems it's the same. OK, these are the summary of what we have done where we use a real time customer real application. It pretty much it's a well established product since 2004 and most powerful low code uh, application development platform and then continually until now to till date. It's still growing and of course we align this Oracle Apex with the industry trends that supports a lot of third party development softwares that trans even back on the HTML4 or the recent HTML5 development frameworks, right? JavaScripting, CSI, C, C, uh, Cascade Style Sheet version 3 UI, and libraries that runs on provision on, on the development of mobile technology nowadays. More consistent with Oracle developer skills, of course, will be recommended such as SQL, PLSQL, and Oracle database. And of course, proficient in the Oracle database, easily translate into ability to develop a web application. And these are the links. And I can also share this PowerPoint with you for your reference. And thank you very much for your time. And let me have hand over to Madame Melissa now. Thank you, ma'am. Wow, that was really a rapid application development tool, Sir Hansel. So in just a matter of few minutes, you were able to create a simple application.